Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making it a great week, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself. It will take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 70, NASDAQ's off 98, SP's down 26, gold contract down $33.50, trading at $16.75 an ounce. We have silver down 61 cents, $19.64 an ounce. Light sweet crude off a buck 65, $90.98. King dollar. King dollar's up 369 ticks, trading 113, 162. The euro is at 97, the yen's at 145, and the British pound is at 110 to 1 US dollar. Bond markets are closed out here today. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. It was called, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, is that you get a start of a bounce. You know, we have out here, you get the SPY today, uh, made it to 357. The last low that was out here was 357.04. We went to 357.60, we rejected lower price there. I really want, I want to see this inside the trading day of the 17th of June. That's, that's your benchmark. That's the benchmark that you should be looking at out here. We had 111 million shares there. We did come down lower with 153, no doubt. And that's why I'm saying, this could have been the test of this, uh, but if it is, you want it inside what, it, what the lower high volume day was, and that is 362.17. You know, which we can make today, by the way, okay? Because the bottom line is that this market looks to me like it wants to bounce. NDX 100, same type of setup. Now we take a look at the NDX 100. Uh, this needs higher price too. We got down to 363, it rejected it. It's gonna have lighter volume, we're 266. You want to see this one get into 269.28. When we started out the day, folks, this could have been a, uh, a real problem if you're bullish. It, this is, if you're bullish, this is a much better scenario that we're going to get a bounce here. When we started out the day, it was basically, you know, you, you had higher price. And if we went higher with this light of volume, it would have been a total disaster because more than likely it would have been, it would have been building cause for the next leg down. Now, when you line up with kind of where we are, it's, it's, my take is that we really can get a decent bounce going here. Um, you had the first little fracture come out uh, inside the Fed, and that's why you saw a bounce uh, intraday out here. Where it was Lyle Brandon, uh, one of the Fed governors, uh, bottom line. Uh, you know, and she's been hawkish, okay? Uh, and she came out with the aspect that, well, you know, we got to watch the liquidity incidents. When the Federal Reserve or any bankers, uh, you know, the market, well, mostly bankers, uh, yeah, the market in general, when they start talking about a liquidity event, folks, they're not talking about a liquidity event between you, I, or anyone else that basically is, you know, having cash flow problems. What they're talking about specifically is banks that can get taken down in two seconds flat. And the reason is that each and every time the bottom line is that they don't supposed to be over leveraged this or that and every every single time they're, they're over leveraged that's the bottom line so when you see the aspect of bonds move so quickly um there's always someone that you know think that you can't get pullbacks of five to six percent inside the bond markets now our banks are no doubt strong okay because of the test on a continual basis that being said though the bottom line, if you hit a European bank, it's hit. You don't know how much our banks are into European banks. That's how this whole thing goes. So that was the first blurp out of a Fed official that, yeah, we might have liquidity events. The bottom line is, folks, they're never going to say we're going to go into a recession. Um, you know, I suspect we are. I mean, they, they're going to they're gonna force this until... Uh, a recession's out there. That's that's my take on it. Gold, gold contract pulling back with lighter volume. We get gold contract, 142,000 contracts. Now, what's really cool in the gold market is this: is that so you're coming back into strength, and that's how you want to operate, man. That's the bottom line. Like gold right now, we're at uh, 1675. We went to 1672. 
And this will probably, you know, test the 1671 tomorrow. That's how it's probably set up. You have 148,000 contracts. That's shot contract volume coming back into the 215,000. The low of that 215 is 1666. So you can actually get the 1666. We only got the 1672 out here. Dollar, the dollar is, you know, the, the king here, man. There's no doubt about it. The, this dollar, uh, bottom line, is looking to get up into the highs. Now, the intriguing part about this today, okay, so picture what ends up happening, folks, okay? Our bond market, it, you know, here, let me show you something here for a second because this is pretty cool. WB, you want to see, okay, so these are the rates, okay, when, you, when you're taking a look across the world, right? Well, you can see on the 10-year, we're at 3.8, and the United Kingdom is at 4.4. The differential in France is at 2. You can see Italy's at 4. The differential is huge, meaning that people are going to keep, if they want to buy the 10-year, they're going to first cash dollars in to buy the 10-year, okay? Now, what's intriguing today is that the bond market's closed, so that it's not folks cashing in dollars to collect, and that just means people are buying the dollar still. Now, if we look at the two-year, you're going to see our two-year is basically higher than anyone in the world right now. So where is that money going to go? That's why you're going to see it. You're going to, our two-year right now is 4.3%. So if you want two different things, so check out what happens. You want two different things. You want 4.3% for two years, right? And you're overseas. The bottom line, you got to change it into dollars. You buy it. And that's the highest interest rate in the world right now. Well, it, for a two-year and, and the scale that I have up there. That's what it comes down to. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 12. NASDAQ's off 79. S&P's off 20. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.